Welcome back. Today we're introducing another product from Whiting. Uh, this is kind of the opposite end of most of the Whiting products. It's kind of just your backyard chicken, right? It's a, a Bantam rooster and it's not been genetically engineered. I mean, you compare these two, when you look at them, you can see, you know, the, this, is a, this is a really kind of, this is a low grade, uh, I think this was a pro grade because I, I tend to use the, those and you can see how long the hackle is here. It's, you know, pretty long. This is kind of old school. You know, you hear me talking about this all the time. You can see how short this is. Talking about how in the old days we didn't have this long hackle and how hackle has gotten longer, more turns, more, more barbulars, and it's got, it, it's just, it's thicker, right? This is your starter kit neck. This is a $20 neck, and it has other virtues besides just that they're, they're webbier, and I'll just kind of show you in here on this close-up, where that thing go to? I set two styles of wings here, and I actually, it's kind of fun for me because I went back and I, I took muskrat and I made everything like a traditional Adams, which are, they're kind of lost their way in our, in our business nowadays, the traditional hackle, but I've talked about it several times about the wing sets and how it's hard. When you go to this style of hackle, in the old days we'd use these, these tips to the hackle well, they're so skinny now that nothing shows up. But when you look at this, you'll see they're very rounded. I did a delta wing here. This is a this is something that I found in a box from like, man, probably 40, 50 years ago, 55 maybe. Um, and it was, and you can see it's a delta wing, uh, delta wing Adams, and it's kind of like the early spinners. I've got one here that I finished, so you can see. Uh, I've never seen this fly before anywhere else. It was, I bought this fly, I think, I don't know, it's in my, my old fly boxes from like the mid 60s. And so you can see it's got the rounder wings though. And that's the big deal, is that you can, you can do these for traditional sets. And I've been talking about that quite a while, because you're kind of seeing a, a renaissance for tying the traditional flies. And so what I did here is I set a normal set of wings and I got that delta wing that's kind of not so normal. And then I, I wanted to just see how thick the tips are. They're just kind of, they're rounded. They don't go to a point. And I want you to see, and, and it's a great starter for kids. I mean, or anybody really. And what you're going to see, I'm going to wrap this one hackle around here. And you're going to see that it doesn't have the number of barbs, you know, coming up the rachis. So there's not so thick. It's not so dense. And it's a little, a little less hackle to show, you know, to show footprint. And I really, I like that. I personally... A lot of times I strip one side of my hack hooks because I don't want it quite so thick because I don't do a lot of the traditional, not traditional, but the new era uh, parachutes where you'll see like uh, six, eight, ten turns of parachute going up it. To me, that's a distortion. It doesn't look like legs. They look beautiful. I mean, it's, they're, every time I'm on Instagram and I see one, I, I like it because they're just incredibly well tied flies. But from a fishing perspective, I don't think it's uh, as good as the less dressed. And so just to go a little bit over this, like I said, it's, a, it's just a, just, it's just a, these things were raised for just backyard chickens. They were just so people could have chickens in their yard, right? And so what you're going to see is you're going to get a pretty good number of hackles, these little tiny ones. You're going to get four, five, six turns out of one, that's max. And you can go down to, I wouldn't say you're going to go much past the 16. It'd be pretty rare to get that. But you're going to get a lot of wing sets in this thing. And then you're going to step in here in this, in this zone right here. You're going to get a really good number of 12s. 12s and 10s. And you step up in the middle up in here. You're getting phenomenal woolly bugger hackle. And by the way, this only comes in only grizzly. This color right here. So you're getting great woolly bugger hackle up here. Get in the top. Get good Matuka streamer stuff. You get ribbing for streamers and stuff like that. But it's a $20 neck. It's a great way to get people started. And like I said, it's and it's going to teach you a little bit about wrap and hackle too because it's a little bit, the stems are a little thicker. You're not going to have the count. It's not going to hide stuff for you quite so easy. So I'll just throw a hackle on here real quick and you can see it turn. And we won't, you know, it's already done. And you can see the turns <clears throat> and you'll see that it doesn't really have, you're not going to get the build that you would on a traditional whiting hackle wow. and I got a pair of defective pliers come on hmm 
Well, that's not working too good. See my pliers anywhere? Cut. Had a little technical difficulties. My hackle pliers, uh, I just realized I ran them over with my chair. They aren't doing so good. So what I want you to see here is that this is going to, this is traditional hackle in the old school sense that the, the rachis, which is the stem, is a little thicker. And that has a tendency to roll a little bit on people. Uh, it's going gonna, it's gonna to build less. And I just want you to see, I'm going to do two or three turns just so you can see how little hackle you see on these. And so first turn, and remember when you're doing an Adams, it will have two colors of hackle. And so I'm just going to wrap this forward so you can see it's relatively thin. All right. When you look at this, I'm not going to finish that up, but you can see it's just kind of thin and wispy in there. Now you put another hackle in behind it and that's going to double your build, obviously. But that's just you can just see that there's not much build up on that. And it's a little sparse compared to like a normal whiting hackle. But it's a it's a great like I said, it's a great starter fly hackle. It's great for woolly buggers. It's great for wet flies. All that stuff so your kids aren't eating up a really high dollar neck, $20 neck. And it's got a lot, my particular, whoa, crazy. My particular favorite part of this is I love these traditional wing sets. I mean, for 20 bucks, you could probably get, I don't know, you probably get four dozen sets of wings out of this. And they're thicker and wider at the tip, so it's a little bit better uh, visual for your fly. Hope you like it. Hope it helps you out.